washing my hair tonight, so I'm gonna let it air dry a bit before I blow dry it. In the meantime, I wanted to show you my skincare routine because I feel like taking care of my skin, especially fresh out of the shower, is a big part of the relaxation and unwinding process in my night routine. And I'm excited to show you all of the products I used because I partnered up with the brand Wish Trend to create a bundle of all my skincare essentials. Wish Trend is a skincare site that carries a bunch of different brands and products of skincare. It's really nice having it all in one place and with a bunch of different resources and information on the products. All their products are cruelty free as well and they don't include any sort of harsh chemicals that can potentially harm your skin. I already did my cleansing in the bathroom as you saw earlier but now I'm just gonna go in with my toner give it a little shake and I like to use cotton pad for this you can also use your hands as well I think I'm gonna try using my hands more often once I run out of these cotton pads because that's a lot more wasteful and I'm trying to be more conscious of making more eco-friendly choices in my day-to-day -day. but as of now I have all of these cotton pads that I still need to use up. After my face is toned I like to use this vitamin C oil and this is the Dear Claris freshly juiced vitamin drop and this stuff is amazing. I really stand by vitamin C serums in general but this particular product I've seen a lot of good progress with. A little goes a long way so I only usually put one drop per cheek and maybe a little on my forehead but you really don't need all that much. I've been using vitamin C serum for a really long time and I see the biggest difference in the fact that it fades my acne scarring. I had a little bit of acne scarring on my cheeks that I got in my first years of college and now it's nearly gone which it's kind of insane to me. It makes my skin look so glowy. Now I'm going to use my Dear Claris Midnight Blue Calming Cream. And this feels really nice at night as it's soothing to the skin. It's this light blue color, very pretty. And especially after being exposed to the sun all day because global warming sucks and California is still very, very hot and warm all day, even though it's October. I don't want to think about that. But this really moisturizes my skin and gets rid of all redness. It cools it down. It feels so nice and refreshing. And the last part of my night skincare routine is actually waiting for me in the fridge. So I'll go get to that. I love using these sheet masks. I feel like using sheet masks at night is another part of the whole relaxation pamper yourself process feels a little goofy at times but it's just a part of the thing you know you you gotta put a sheet mask on
I'm currently designing this little teddy sticker. I designed a clown teddy because as you may have seen, I have a lot of teddy designs in my store. So I thought it was only fitting that I kind of made this guy for Halloween because you know, clowns are kind of spooky, creepy, you know, the Halloween vibe, but I think he looks super cute. So planning to add this design to my shop when it reopens. I always try doing this journal reflection entry at night right before I go to sleep. That way I can let my eyes rest from all the blue light. Although, if I'm being quite honest with you, I'm not the best at doing this. It's, it feels like a chore sometimes, even though I know it's good for me. And I've been struggling to be regular with it. And every week I'm telling myself, this week will be the week that I get back into it for good. So I'm not gonna read you anything that I've written, of course, because that is private. And that's why I can be so honest and truly let out my deepest feelings in these journal entries, which is part of the whole de-stressing and relaxation part. And also it just helps me grow. I will sort of give you a preview of what I do. So I just write the date at the top of my journal. I'll usually just go from the first most freshest thought in my mind. So something that happened the day or how I'm feeling in general about the day or how my emotions are in the moment. And then I'll work through different events in my day, sort of talk about how I'm feeling, how I reacted, reflect on that. And from there, it just kind of generates ideas on its own. I have no problem filling a few pages, although I usually try limiting myself to one page a night. I could write a lot more. I'm an introverted person and even with friends and family, I'm not very outspoken about my feelings or what I'm thinking all the time, but I've always got a lot going on up here. This is essentially my captive audience where I can just let it all out. No judgment. I also did minor in writing in college, so I think that's just me. I find that when I'm writing and looking back on my day, I try to put in a more positive light or find the most positive parts of different things that have happened because when I look back on things that happened that may not have been the best, instead of just venting and filling my pages with negativity, I try working through why things happened the way they did and tell myself like, oh, it's not that bad or, you know, this could have gone a lot worse and stuff like that because that's true like 99% of the time it makes me feel like these horrible feelings that I may have had are not that serious or it shouldn't be taken that seriously. I'm truly able to unpack everything and usually getting it all off my chest at night allows me to wake up in the morning feeling light and refreshed like I'm starting a new day and I don't have anything hanging over me or lingering over me because I've already sort of worked that out in my journal. And then on nights that I'm feeling super, super tired and I just don't want to write at all because I'd rather sleep, I just write a sentence or two. I try to, and that is my journaling process. 